top from Cleo Bella you guys this is the Marin top blouse in like a cotton base so for all of you who are in those southern states and it's still probably screaming 80 degrees out this is a really great transitional top because it's a little bit more of a lighter weight you can do it back to a pair of cutoffs or a pair of shorts but check out all the beautiful detail I'm like a sucker for the 70s vibe color palette so so good the okay. chat is blowing up oh, with this top this top is uh, again Cleo Bella you guys oh one more thing I forgot to mention, these cut bottoms, under $100, crew. Under $100, so, so good. Okay, I'm so excited about these. I'm diving into the other pair of cuts we just got. You guys love this style. And she came back in this really beautiful at crew color. This is the Meg High Rise. So yummy, check out the wide leg, you guys. You are going to wear this all fall long. Literally swap this vegan pant out for a little bit of a cream, back to this little cream loafer, and you're totally set to go. Such a stunning, yummy little cream color going into fall. I think every month we have an outfit in our catalogs and marketing and every email thing we're getting that's like this really beautiful um, white on white, cream on cream, oatmeal on oatmeal color palette. It's so yummy. Again, these are under $100 too. So, so good. As a reminder, I'm wearing a size 10 in these. This feels great because I carry my weight through my tummy right now. So it doesn't feel like I'm hanging over the side. They feel comfortable. They don't feel like they're gonna stretch out. And I'd probably do go between the 10 and the eight in the Meg as well. So, hey, so good. Ash, really good question. With the vegan pants that you're wearing, would you typically size down or is it true to size? I would do true to size, especially in the vegan, just because you don't wanna pull where the pockets are. You don't want that to pull or pucker. So I think with the trouser too, you can go a little bit more relaxed. I think the fit looks really great. You don't wanna be going too tight in a trouser in general, and especially with vegan, I think it looks better when it's just a little bit more of a looser fit. So I would do true to size in these Gabriellas, you guys. And then I think with the Meg, because this is a really, really stretchy denim, you can play also in this cream. You can play with going bigger, or excuse me, smaller or true to size. Again, with the trouser, I like to go true to size, so I don't care that they're a little bit slouchier. That's kind of the vibe of um, silhouette right now. Uh, it's dry clean only for the pants or what? I don't think these are dry clean only. If I could unbutton this and look inside the tags, I'd let you know. But no, I highly doubt these are dry clean only. I would do wash and if you want to be safe and sorry, inside out and line dry and you are totally set. And is your top true to size? I am wearing a medium in this, you guys. So typically with Cleo Bell, I do do a large, but because I didn't want this to be too oversized, I just think this has a really beautiful silhouette. So I am wearing a medium in this, and you guys right now, post baby, I am between a medium and a large. So medium in this, and it feels fantastic. It would be so easy to layer under a blazer jacket, all the things. So, great. 
I was like, ooh, should I grab this jacket? That also feels like a lot. We'll talk, we'll talk about it. Okay, one more amazing little cut that just hit. This is called the Rosa. This is the ankle vintage straight. How beautiful is this wash? Looks like a nice high rise through here. Again, you guys, under $100, but that wash is stunning and like that easy silhouette of like between the skinny and a straight, so easy and you can do it with a cloth a loafer, a boot, you can tuck it into a boot. This is so good, but this wash is absolutely ridiculous when we fall. And that's what cut you. Okay, going into some more fun tops that have just hit. Since we're gonna talk a little bit about statement tops, check out this new stunning sweater top from Design History. Got this little point tail through here, ribbing, so a little bit more fitted, easy to tuck in. But check out this ridiculously. Little ruffle on the top, how beautiful is this? If any of you have events coming up, um, oh my gosh, all, all the fall things that you probably have going on, Bridge is here, went to a winery, meet up with girlfriends at a winery, this with a pair of jeans, how cute, easy statement making a back to this kind of like vintage wash kind of like this great juxtaposition between this really statement top little vintage denim so good otherwise how creamy yummy is this vibe with the wide leg and that really statement um sleeve this is absolutely ridiculous this is design history you guys and it is called the georgette pullover so stinking cute little bold lip you're like set to go for call okay Two other tops that I'm absolutely in love with. Let's talk about this one first. Velvet, cozy, good to go, obsessed with this emerald color. This is the Regan Velour Pullover in Dark Pine from Every. How yummy gummy is this? You throw this on with a pair of jeans, even a sneaker, you run out the door, kids events, this guy is so cozy and I just kind of love the oversized boyfriend size of this. So I would go true to size in this. So I probably would get this in a medium. Even though I'm between sizes, I think every brand runs really true to size, so I would do a medium in this. Okay, next top, which is so cute. And you guys, the store is open here at our flag store, flagship store, and it is popping. The fall product is so good. I don't, it feels really good on a Monday morning to have it like buzzing and going and like, all right, let's get this week started. The sun is shining. How, who's ready? Who's ready? Okay, but checking out, this would be so cute with the pants that I have on right now too. And I think you could tuck it in or you could kind of leave it untucked and have it unbuttoned. So easy. This is from Stitches and Stripes, you guys. This is black, this is black and cream, by the way. Um, this is the Savannah Pullover. How beautiful is this little cardigan? Again, you can wear it as a top, you can wear it as a cardigan, but how stunning is this little sweater? I actually am like, okay, do I need this? Do I not need this? And I was like, hey, these Meg, Meg wide legs. You need another little out, like what? Yeah. What is this outfit? You need it, it's so cute. And now I'm like, okay, another outfit idea. We're gonna be talking about this ridiculous, I'll put this on, Lamarck jacket, vegan, Ja or leather jacket, you guys. So, so good. Not vegan leather, but how cute is this other little number? I'm telling you the outfit options right now are crazy. I need to slow myself down. I need to like clean through my closet. What? How cute is this outfit? You're totally set to go. I have no idea what you're doing this fall, but you need to be wearing this. So, so cute. Um, Okay, let's dive into the jackets and we'll get back to the sweaters. Are there questions, Brent? There actually is a really good question. Uh, do you have a suggestion for a good shoe or a boot to cover skin in the colder weather with a crop style pant? Oh, so funny. Um, as, I don't know if you guys know this, but Britt, who's filming behind us, how tall are you? 5'11". 5'11"? Yeah, yeah, she's got this beautiful long leg. <laughs> and she's like, okay, are these pants too short for me? Okay, so I wish I had them with me. If you feel daring enough, you can do a loafer if you love that because they're comfortable. And then we're just gonna dare you with one of those tailored union socks. Yes, I know. You're gonna. This is a whole new vibe. It's a little bit scary. So if you feel like, hey, I can take that dare, a loafer with like a great little um, fun sock, pop sock, is totally set to go. I also love the Dolce Vita Vikram booty here at Every. This is an exclusive to Every, but they have a nice long shaft on the top. Great little like Western trend. They come in black in this great cognac color. They have a little bit of a heel, but they're long enough that they'd be kind of covering the ankle, but not too far where it's hitting the calf and you're feeling like, oh, are these too tall? But that is such a great booty that you can do with a crop jean, a wide leg jean, a dress, a skirt, and black and brown. Those are my absolute favorite. So that's why I go there. And then there's also our great like tall boots if you have um, if it's wide, wide enough, you could go underneath the leg or with the skinny straight, you could go over the top, but so, so good. Okay, 
I am trying on a Lamarck. These are called the Donna Moto Jacket. This is the color khaki, which is in this really gorgeous olive green. So like trading in that utility jacket for this beautiful leather jacket. And the more you wear these, you know that the more, the more better. Hello Monday. The more better they look, but I love like a vegan ja or a leather jacket and the more you wear it, it just gets so yummy and has the history and like, oh gosh, like Top Gun vibes and all the best ways. P.S. Yeah, so did you guys see Top Gun too? So good. So good. It's like one of my so favorite good. I was like, uh, top five. So good. Top five for top five. <laughs> um, Miles Teller. How good is this, you guys? A leather jacket is just a, cl a classic piece. You will always, always, always have in your wardrobe. You'll never get rid of it. It goes with jeans, t-shirts, dresses, sweaters, sweatshirts, all the things. These go all the ways and loving in these two colors. So this color is called Porto and this one's called Khaki, but how yeah, and again, I don't know if I'd exactly do the vegan on vegan. I just realized what bottoms I'm wearing. But you take these new little high-rise rosas paired with this look. Hello, girls' night. Hello, like, kids' events. And a little loafers, you're set to go. So good. Ah, uh, okay. I'm like, where do I go next? There's so much fun stuff on here. Can you, what's the price point on that jacket, Ash? So, Mark, because it's real leather, this guy is $5.95. So really yummy, high quality brand. I think two lives ago or three lives ago, I showed all that really fun shirling jackets we had from them. And then this is their real leather, which is so good. Okay, one more fun little vegan jacket. This is a more of a puffer style. So going that true, true outerwear when the temps hit 40. This is from Offery. This is the Gemma jacket. The color is cocoa, but it definitely has Oh my gosh, the wave it feels incredible. It definitely has like this like whiny purple color. This feels so good. It's so cute. How easy is this to run out the door? Just that easy, like I call it, I know it's not a car coat, but what I like about this coat for the car is it's not like getting caught in the door. You're just like climbing in, it's stretchy. This feels incredible, you guys. So this is Opry, the Gemma coat. And I was just wearing a size medium. So definitely runs generous. So again, I'm in a medium and a large on top, and I just did a medium in this, and that felt great. If I want to do a thick Kobe sweater on her and be thick, it just totally is set to go. Okay, speaking of sweaters, two new ones that I absolutely love. I'm a sucker for a stripe. This one is a cotton hand. This is the Riley Stripe Turtleneck Pullover from Everive. Loving that black brown. How yummy is that? Again, for those of you in the warmer states where you can't do like a full wool or, um, sweater that cotton hand is so great for those cooler mornings t-shirt underneath but how beautiful is that next to that cream cut wide leg do a little black sneaker a black loafer black booty you're set to go and then oh gosh, this would be really cute with the pants i actually have on this is from 525 this is the turtleneck shaker pullover under a hundred dollars again that cotton hand you guys so if you're just like big fall again 40 degrees in the morning 90 degrees in the afternoon, but you need that layer in the morning. This is a really great option to do it with it. And I love it paired back to this vegan, like how beautiful, creamy, yummy. We were just talking about winery visits, like red wine, white wine, all the things. So good. This would be a really cute um, outfit to wear for that too. So they're wondering with the blouse you're currently wearing, would you wear it also untucked or oh. do you love it tucked in too? No, you can totally untuck it. I, I think because I had these trousers on you guys, I wanted to show off the pocket and this really clean, little um trouser words are hard this morning this trouser style <laughs> the waistband jeez louise but how cute is this just a super easy hem has a little bit of that little split there too so if you do carry your weight in your hips i also love that because it just gives room through there doesn't get stuck but how cute would that be you could even do with a pair of jeans unbutton it throw a little half tuck in there just to give you a little bit more shape, add a little bit of added length in the leg. But no, this is absolutely easy peasy, a lightweight blouse that if you wanted to do this untucked, you could totally do that. So, yeah, isn't this absolutely adorable? Like the best vintage vibe colors, prints, and again, Cleo Bella. So. And then they were wondering, the, the boot you recommendation you made earlier, can yes. you go over that the again? The Dolce Vita Vikram, you guys, this is exclusive to Every. It comes as kind of a Western style boot, but has a little bit higher um, shaft in the boot. So if you want to do it with like a straight leg, a crop, but you want a little bit of added length, but it's not going to hit the heel, gives you like easy to walk in. Again, comes in black and cognac, so good. That's from Dolce Vita. They run true to size. Yum, yum, yum. That's, that's the boot I think you guys need to wrap this And tailored union socks. 
and tailored union socks if you're going to play around. Well, even once you throw inside the booty, they're so good. They're thin, but they're really fun. But if, again, you want to do a little style there and you want to pair a sock with a loafer, our fun little tailored union guys are really fun to pair back to loafers. So, that's it. Yay! Happy Monday. We got people rolling in. It's a good, good day to start your week. So, happy Monday, and I'm going to see you all soon.